Imagine flying over Mars like an invisible drone, jumping from one historic scene to another. Each image you're about to see isn't just pretty. It opens a window into the planet's geology, climate, ancient water, storms, ice, and even quakes on this red world. Today, we'll walk through 28 striking images of Mars and understand what they actually tell us about a planet that was far more active and watery than it seems. Right off the bat, a viral surprise. The bare face carved into the Martian surface by the high-rise camera aboard the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. Two craters form the eyes, a circular fracture outlines the face, and a V-shaped collapse structure becomes the nose. The science behind it is simple, erosion, impacts, and fracturing. But the psychological effect is strong. It's pareidolia, our brain trying to recognize familiar patterns where none exist. And at the same time, it's a clue to how the terrain has endured impacts and stresses over millions of years. From the bear to a mineral flower. Inside Gale Crater, the Curiosity rover found a rock fragment smaller than a penny that looks like a flower or a piece of coral. The beauty is in the process. Billions of years ago, minerals carried by water cemented the grains and created this delicate structure. It's microscopic, but powerful. It says, there was liquid water flowing here, backing the idea of a once more habitable Mars. Curiosity also turned into a travel photographer. In front of the Mont Mercou rock formation, about 20 feet, 6 meters tall, it built a selfie using two cameras. The little robot framed by the layered cliff is almost a symbol of the mission. Patient science, climbing Mount Sharp to read layers of time like pages in a geologic book. And speaking of new perspectives, in April 2021, Ingenuity made history by capturing the first in-flight color image ever taken by a helicopter on another planet. Only five meters above the ground, but a giant leap for exploration. Seeing the terrain, the shadows, and the rusty tone of the ground under the rotors confirmed that Mars' thin air, about 1% of Earth's pressure, wouldn't block human creativity. Now, climb higher. A mosaic with 102 images from the Viking era shows, as of July 9, 2013, the hemisphere of Valles Marineris, a canyon system more than 2,000 kilometers long and up to 8 kilometers deep. It's like a Grand Canyon multiplied many times over, cutting across a planet-sized continent. These canyons likely open through tectonic and erosional processes aided by material collapse, and they hold sediments that tell, layer by layer, how Mars changed. Curiosity appears again, this time in 2016, in another selfie in the Quella region of the Murray Buttes at the base of Mount Sharp. The landscape recalls the American Southwest, mesas, sharp edges, ochre tones. The photo also marks a drilling event. Each borehole is a sample of the past, analyzed to search for water-dependent minerals like clays. From the ground under the rover's wheels to an orbital view of a fossilized river channel, a false color image shows the relief, blue for low, yellow for high, and reveals a path carved by flowing water long ago. These valleys, deltas, and alluvial fans scattered across Mars reinforce that hydrologic cycles once existed. Rain, groundwater, seasonally melting ice, the puzzle is written in the colors and curves of the landscape. Heading to the poles, ESA's Mars Express imaged in 2018 the Korolev Crater, more than 80 kilometers wide and filled with water ice near the north. It's not carbon dioxide ice, it's water preserved by the dynamics of cold air sitting over the basin, a bright reservoir, literally and scientifically. Back to Gale. High rise, photographed a stretch of ground with unusual texture. From a distance, it looks scaled, full of small grooves and striations, products of layering, fracturing, winds, and erosion sculpting surfaces of different hardnesses. On Mars, texture is text. Each pattern translates an environmental process, Pop culture also shows up there. A cooled lava flow preserved the footprint of ancient migrating dunes in southeastern Mars and, pareidolia again, the pattern resembles the Star Trek emblem. It wasn't Spock, it was wind and lava working together, one marking and the other stamping. Speaking of wind, Mars is a patient sculptor. Yardangs, elongated ridges carved by wind, stretch like blades, and on sandy floors, waves and small dunes appear. In the thin atmosphere, light scatters less, so shadows are strong and crisp. 
These forms aren't just beautiful, they show wind direction, its persistence, and how it remodels the landscape over long, dry eras. In 2004, the rover Opportunity found the famous hematite-rich concretions near Fram Crater, spherules scientists nicknamed blueberries. They're tiny, the scene spans just over 3 centimeters, but huge in meaning. Hematite often forms in the presence of water, another grain of evidence for Mars's wet past. Another intriguing signature is the seasonal lines on the slopes of Valles Marineris, RSL, or recurring slope lineae. They appear and fade during warmer seasons, running downslope like small dark streaks. For years, scientists debated whether they were connected to briny flows, dry granular avalanches, or something else. Whatever the dominant mechanism, they show that the surface still breathes, responding to seasonal changes. And when Mars sneezes, the whole planet changes its face. In 2001, a series of dust storms lofted a haze that wrapped the globe, as seen in images from Mars Global Surveyor. From a disk with details, Mars turns into an orange blur. Such storms warm the upper atmosphere, block light at the surface, and can last weeks or months. In 2015, Curiosity built a mosaic looking toward higher regions of Mount Sharp, a hematite-rich ridge in the foreground, behind it an undulating plain rich in clays, and, in the distance, rounded buttes full of sulfates. This mineral sequence is gold for geologists. Hematite, clays, and sulfates tell of chemical changes in ancient waters, perhaps an environment that grew more acidic and saline over time. In 2019, another first, the InSight mission's seismometer recorded a Mars quake. Without active plate tectonics like Earth's, Martian tremors come from thermal contractions, ancient faults adjusting, impacts, and, as we'll see, tectonically young regions. It was the crust speaking softly, but speaking. The wind returns as a dancer. In 2016, Opportunity caught a dust devil snaking through the valley. You can see the rover's own tracks climbing the slope and, down below, the slender spinning column. On Mars, these whirlwinds are common and can even help clean solar panels or smother them more, depending on the day's mood. At the poles, high-rise recorded layered deposits and the bright ice cap in the north. Rings and layers tell of past summers and winters, changes in the planet's tilt and orbit, a climate archive stored in Mars' cold vault. Another closely watched area is Neely Patera, where dunes and ripples move relatively fast by Martian standards. High-rise passes every few months to compare and measure their shift. Yes, Mars desert walks. Grain by grain, the landscape changes. In 2019, Curiosity assembled its largest panorama, more than a thousand images stitched into 1.8 billion pixels. It's as if you could walk around, zoom in, and explore every rock, every fracture, every grain. Beyond mesmerizing, it's a detailed map to decide where to investigate next. From above, another view of the North Pole, a Mars Global Surveyor mosaic shows the 1,000-kilometer-wide cap, its deep chasms, and the Great Canyon Chasma Boreale, almost the size of the Grand Canyon, and up to two kilometers deep. It's a long, narrow bite taken out of the ice cap, where wind and warmth carve tunnels and cliffs. Sometimes Mars reminds us that space is dynamic. In 2013, High Rise photographed a brand new impact crater, about 30 meters across, surrounded by a carpet of radial ejecta. Because the terrain was dusty, the blast removed reddish dust, leaving the area bluish in enhanced color. It's a before and after of a recent event, the crater clock marking geologic time on an almost human scale. At the foot of Mount Sharp, a dark mound called Irison Hill stands like a sentinel. Curiosity passed nearby in 2017, also studying a linear dune. Hills like these concentrate resistant layers, distinct mineralogy, and clues about wind directions and episodes of deposition. And the pole makes our mouths water, literally. A polar dune field covered by ice and sand looks like cookies and cream. That shine isn't fluffy snow, but seasonal granular ice mixed with dust. In 2010, MRO caught a dust tower rising straight from the surface. Around it, blue and white clouds of water vapor tint the sky. These towers work like dust elevators, injecting particles high into the atmosphere and feeding larger storms. In the Southern Hemisphere's winter, in 2014, 
a roughly one kilometer wide crater showed frost on its south facing slopes. It's a quick lesson in insulation. On Mars, faces that get less sun hold onto ice longer, and the camera can capture this frosty makeup as the planet heads towards spring. And remember the Mars quakes? The two largest detected by InSight seem to have come from Cerberus Fosse, a region with fractures, landslides, and signs of recent tectonism. The high-rise image shows troughs, collapses, and windows opened in the crust. If there's a young heart in Mars, it beats here. To close the historical arc, the first photo ever taken on the surface of Mars. Viking 1, July 20th, 1976. A mosaic of rocks, reddish ground, low horizon. It's a humble photograph compared to today's panoramas, but it was the first close look, the moment Mars stopped being just a point of light and became ground, rock, dust. From that click to today, we've learned the planet holds ice, once had rivers and lakes, lives under persistent winds, and still creaks along its fractures. Take a breath and notice what these 28 images reveal together. Mars in the end isn't just a frozen desert, it's an archive, and each of these 28 images is a page we flip with digital fingertips. High-rise, curiosity, opportunity, insight, ingenuity, Viking, Mars Express, Mars Global Surveyor, all bookmarks left by us. When the next mission lands, it will find wind still carving yardangs, ice still hiding in craters, dust climbing in towers, dunes marching in Neely Patera, and, who knows, new mineral flowers waiting for the perfect close-up. Until then, these photos remain an invitation. Look calmly, zoom in, read the textures. And remember that on Mars, beauty and science walk side by side. If you like this, leave a like, subscribe, and share it with a friend who's also in love with Mars. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.